welcome you all in the today's video let us try to explore some more features from selector hub now let me open an application and in this i am trying to open my selector hub which is already created so you can just right click and inspect anywhere on the page now we will able to see the selector hub window here okay so the first feature is we can set the attributes so for example uh, if you inspect any of these elements so let's try to inspect this search store uh, input box now if i just look at here it is generated relative x path so in the relative x path it is basically used id attribute so you can just look at here the input tag and the id is available for that element and so this is id which is captured in the x path and suppose instead of id if you want to add some other attribute right there are some other attributes also available so if you want to set those attributes uh, for this element instead of using this id uh, simply what you can do is there is an option here uh, set attribute so by default it is enabled so if you click on it it will be disappear now again if you click on this the attributes window will appear so by default it is generated this x path using id so that we can select an id also here so if i just uncheck this now it is taken some other attribute now this time it is taken some placeholder so whatever attributes are available for this element our selector hub will take those attributes and accordingly it will generate the x path suppose i want to add or i want to set some other attribute other than these existing attribute like text id class and name i want to add some other attribute to this x path or i want to set another attribute for this x path which are available here so if i look at this uh, along with id i can also see something called name here right so i want to add this name into this relative x path i want to set this name attribute into the relative x path so simply in this particular search box you can simply say name so as soon as you type your name and press enter so now you can see the relative x path is still using name attribute and similarly you can also set any other property so for example here uh, class is available right so i want to set the class attribute you can say class so now the relative x path is generated with the class so like this whatever the attributes are available uniquely you can just use that attribute and set that attribute for the relative x path okay so this is a one of the feature which is available that is set feature set attribute okay and uh, sometimes when you search any element or when you locate any element and those element attributes will dynamically change right so our selector hub will automatically detect those uh, the type of nature so for example let us go to uh, google.com and now i'm trying to uh, inspect this element let's say google search now if i go to selector hub now you can see the relative x path is generated for this google search box a google search button now in this relative x path basically it is used class attribute and then uh, here the class attribute and another class attribute so this is the relative x path which is generated for this element and uh, it is also uh, showing something here you can just look at here uh, yellow color mark exclamatory mark with yellow triangle right so it what it is saying is basically class looks dynamic uncheck the class checkbox or delete the class attribute from attribute box to generate relative x path without class if it is generated with class so here if i just uncheck this class then what happens is if i refresh the page again let me refresh the page again and try to inspect this element once again let me remove this class because we already added the class now i'm just uncheck this class refresh now if i look at this for the same element it is generated the relative x path now you cannot see any class attribute here because we have unchecked so if you again select this class again it is using class attribute along with the name attribute so this element is having class and also name name attribute is also available both are taken consider here so if you remove this class attribute then it is generated the relative x path when you have the class attribute it is a dynamic so the class attribute value is a dynamic so it is auto detected so to avoid that what we can simply do is either we can remove this class okay now the class is got uh, the class is got removed from this okay and then this is an x path which is exactly matching with this element and apart from this class if you still want to add any other attribute for this you can still add in this particular red x path so for example value attribute is there so i want to add this value attribute so simply go here and say just add value press enter 
so now we can see in the relative x path instead of name the value is also got added so we have set this value attribute additionally okay but still this is the dynamic because the class attribute is taken here so we have to remove this class obviously it is taken some other attributes and it is generated relative x path so this is one of the uh, useful feature which is available in select platform it will automatically auto detects uh, dynamic attributes of the element and accordingly we can take the necessary actions okay and this is all about set attribute option now there is one more option called the second option set driver command to append on selectors which is very very useful in automation especially set driver command so normally uh, when you look at any element so let me just take some other page okay now let me refresh okay so let me just navigate to some page let's say register page here now i have some elements right so when you're writing your automation right so first we meet uh, we will get all the locators of these elements and then we will use driver dot find element and uh, then we will specify the appropriate locator for the element while writing the script so normally what you will do is when you take this selector hub tool and when you go to selector hub and when i try to inspect any element like this suppose first name i have inspected and it is generated the x path now we will copy this x path and then again we will add driver dot find element by dot x path then we will add this locator and again we will try to identify another element and again it is generated some x path again we will try to add this locator to driver dot find element and by dot x path so we need to again write the driver command additionally along with this locators and this is again tedious task so to avoid this what we can do is to overcome this problem so we have something called set driver command so this is an option which we can use it so when i use this option what will happen is along with this locator it will also automatically generate a driver command okay so let me show you how it is going to generate so this is a uh, let's say i'm inspecting some element here so this is the normal x path which is generated again we have to copy this and we need to use it along with the driver command so if you just click on this set a driver command now what happens is when i set the driver command here we need to provide the command in which format which will support is java syntax or python syntax or cypress syntax in which format you need to add the command so you need to select suppose this is a format normally we use in selenium web driver with java driver dot find element by dot x path and x path value as soon as you provide this press enter now we can see the same locator got changed into command format so we can this is a full command driver dot find element by dot x path and whatever x path is got generated that is a part of this double quotations now we can directly copy this and paste it in your automation script and you can continue for the scripting like dot send keys on that uh, click or whatever actions you want to do you can continue that so this is another very useful feature which is available in selector hub so not only locator along with this locator it will also automatically generate the driver command okay and this uh, even selenium with the java format also supported selenium with python format cypress a different formats it will support and it will show you all the different formats in this auto suggestions whichever format you want to generate the commands you can just select that particular format then the entire command will be automatically generated so now if i just look at another element now as soon as you selected the last name for the last name also the entire command is got generated and suppose email so i'm inspecting this email element now we can see the entire command is got generated for the email so as soon as you make it is on right so as soon as you set this driver command automatically from now onwards whatever locators are automatically generated the locators are be generated along with the command and similarly let's say i am identifying this company name so now you can see this is a relative x path which is generated for company name along with the driver command okay this is the one of the useful feature very useful feature from the selector hub so we can we no need to write the full command in our automation script just locate the element it will automatically generate the web driver command just copy paste and you can try to use it okay so this is a option which is provided set driver command feature now in this uh, suppose here uh, we are identifying individual elements and we are copying this in our notepad or in our automation script and then we are using it right 
But uh, when you're trying to automate not only one element, right? You have a many number of elements and for every element you have to do like this, it will take some time, right? Suppose you have four to five element, every time you need to inspect like this and again we need to copy this command. After completion of that, again we need to inspect another element, then again copy this command, again inspect and again go to another element and copy this command. Every time we need to repeat the same thing, right? For every element we need to repeat the same stuff. So if you have a 10 elements or 15 elements in a page, it will be very difficult task. If you have three to four command or three to four elements, you can simply do that. But if you have a more number of elements on the page, every time copying this is very, very tedious task. So even though the copy option is provided here, again, we need to copy this in every individual element, right? So to overcome this particular problem, there is another option which is provided in Selector Hub, which is third option, click to generate locators page and multiple selectors. So far we have selected, we have generated this command uh, specific elements, one after another. Now, if you have a bulk number of elements, if you have 10 elements or 20 elements, then I want to generate the locators automatically for all the elements at one shot. Okay. So you can generate only locators or you can generate the locators along with the command, whatever you want. So first of all, let me just remove this command so that I can have only locators here. Okay. Now I want to generate only locators for all these elements, whichever are available in this particular page. So what I can do is you can just go to the third option. So you can see first, second, third option, click to generate locators page and multiple selectors. Just click on it. It will open this page. So in this page, what you can do is you can just try to inspect this element one by one. So now I'm trying to inspect this element. Just observe what will happen. I'm trying to inspect the mail radio button. So right click and then inspect. Now we can see it is automatically generated locators. So this is a locator for radio button and this is CSS locator, CSS selector, this is an XPath and this is the ID, right? So whatever the attributes are available for this element, it will capture everything. Now, if you want to inspect another element, first name, right click and inspect. Now we can see the locator is got generated for first name also. Then right click on last name, last name is also generated. Now let me try to date of birth, inspect. Now date of birth is also generated. Similarly email. So email is also got generated. So whatever elements we have, you may have 10 elements or 15 elements. Just right click on that element. Immediately your selector hub will capture locators for every element in this box. Okay. So once it is generated, so now here it is captured only locators, right? And if you want to capture these locators in some file, you have multiple options here. You can just click to copy all the expats and you can copy them in the notepad directly. So you can just copy this copy and then you can take any notepad and here paste it over here. So like this, you can copy all the locators, but later you can just add driver command again. Okay. But if you want to generate all the locators along with this driver, right along with the driver command. So simply what you can do is again, we can go to the second option. In the second option, we can set the driver command for all these locators, right? So whatever locators are generated here for all the elements, if you want to change them in the command format, simply can again go to the second option here. In the second option, you can anyway, you specify the format, right? If this format is not matching, you can just select any other format. So simply what you can do is go to the second option. And here in this box, you have to select the proper format in which format you want to generate the commands. So driver.find element format, I want to generate for Selenium Java. So just select this and press enter. Now, as soon as we have done this, now we can see whatever locators are automatically generated here, added all the commands. Those locators are part of the commands now. So now we can copy all of them. So let me just copy them and keep it in the notepad. Now we can see previously we captured only locators. Now we can see we captured all the locators along with the command. After that, whatever action you want to perform on those elements, you can just perform the actions. This is another beautiful feature from selector hub. So if you want to generate locators for multiple elements, you can still generate. And if you want to generate the commands for all the elements at one shot, you can still do that along with the command. All the locators have been captured. 
okay so this is a one more option which is provided and this will reduce a lot of time and effort for us because in, instead of individually capture the locators for every element you can simply whatever elements we want from this particular page you can simply right click on every element and it will automatically capture the locators along with the command for every element so this is a one of the beautiful feature which is available in this in the selector hub now sometimes uh, we'll try to use page object classes or by using page factory we will create the locators so in those cases this format is not supported so this format we cannot write in the page object class or page object page factory so then the selector app is also will generate the locators in page factory approach okay so for example uh, currently all the locators are created by using command driver command driver dot find element now if you want to change this format according to the page factory so simply we can change the format so currently this is a format in the format all the locators have been generated commands have been created now if you don't want this format you can change it so it will auto suggest everything so you can just select this find by so find by xpath equal to xpath value at the rate catch lookup private web element so you can just select this and then press enter now we can observe all the locators have been automatically created in page factory approach so you can just copy this and then paste it over in the notepad or somewhere you can see this so this is a format this is actually page object classes normally we use this syntax in the page factory okay so this is a exact find by by using find by we are able to locate the element and catch a lookup and these are the variables which will hold the elements actually so whichever format you want to capture that locators you can simply customize them so if you want only locators for those elements you can simply capture them or if you want to capture the locators along with the driver command you can still capture it or if you want to capture all the elements in the page object uh, factory or page factory format you can still capture them so these are the various options which are provided in the selector hub so we have discussed about how to set the new attribute for the uh, locator and also we have seen how we can uh, create the locators along with the driver command for individual elements and also we have seen how we can generate the locator for multiple elements in the two three different formats one format is collection of all the locators and uh, all the locators along with the driver command and third one is in the page uh, page factory model by using find by also we can capture all the locators so once it is generated we can stop it again once you stop it now it is stop stopped capturing all the locators so these are the few important options which are provided very useful for automation testers while automating test clip it will reduce a lot of time and effort at the time of creating the locators especially this is a very tedious task uh, for every automation tester it takes a lot of time also if you want to do each and every element so this will reduce a lot of time and it saves a lot of time and uh, whichever format we want to capture almost every format is supported here only locators and locators with the driver command and uh, page factory format so all formats are currently supported okay so we can try to use these uh, features especially while doing the automation script and this format will support even Cilium Java, Cilium Python, even Cypress so different formats commands are available all formats will be supported in this okay so that's all for this video in the next video we will talk about some more features from the selector hub that's all for this video thanks for watching